Solutions to Oklahoma's growing earthquakes. The topic brought top oil and gas leaders to Tulsa today. Oklahoma's top oil and gas leaders spent Friday in Tulsa tackling some of the pressing needs in the energy industry. There's still a keen interest, you know, from the public and then from the industry in learning what's the most updated information we have. Everything from crude oil prices, energy exploration, and even earthquakes were among the topics on the agenda. Dana Murphy with the Oklahoma Corporation Commission says they learned something new after September's record-breaking 5.8 magnitude quake in Pawnee. So the aftershocks that came from the Pawnee earthquake actually um, helped us understand that there's actually faults that we didn't know about. Hoping to reduce the number of quakes and seismic activity in the area, the OCC reduced the number of active injection wells by closing some or reducing the intake at others. Murphy says the state is looking at other solutions like recycling or even disposing wastewater from fracking into other formations across the country. This is a really complicated issue that's taking a lot of effort and it's not just a one-size-fits-all solution. And what happens next year will be really important. Jeremy Boak with the Oklahoma Geological Survey says outside of the Pawnee quake, Oklahoma is actually seeing a downward trend in the number of 3.0 or greater quakes. We'll be back down to where people instead of seeing three and four and five earthquakes a day are seeing one or two. Boak says there are some 12,000 disposal wells here in the Sooner State, but not all of them have seismic activity. He says he and his team are using research and technology to locate those problem areas.